Hey guys, Furum here, and today I'm going to be showing you the Mazanti Avantra Milikavali in multiplayer in Asphalt 9 at Golden Max. These races were given to me by Yogg Saran, who a lot of you may know from his numerous appearances in the ESL Mobile Open seasons, so you know it's going to be good. Please consider subscribing if you haven't already, and be sure to check out my new Furum Clips channel, as well as my Purple Team Discord. The link to those will be in the description, and I hope you enjoy these races. The Mazanti special event ended not too terribly long ago, but I think it was one that probably not as many people went for as some other cars. This is probably partially due to the fact that its special event was, as always, not particularly easy and required some cars that might not be the easiest to get, but another reason is that the car really doesn't have a whole lot that stands out about it. Now, it's a good car, don't get me wrong. It is better than the Fenner, better than the Zenvo and the Inferno by just a little bit. It's kind of on par with a car like the Aspark and maybe slightly worse than the Speedtail. Just to give you an idea of where it sort of sits inside of Class S. But this car doesn't really have anything memorable about it or anything that makes it stand out above other cars around its rank. I mean, think about it. When you think of this car, What's the first thing that you think of? I honestly have no idea. Its top speed, handling, acceleration, and nitro are, I would say, all at least average and above average in most cases for its class, but none of them is particularly great. So because of that, a lot of people probably are not going to remember this car much, which is kind of unfair because it is quite good. It seems to be another one of those fairly reliable mid to high end S class cars that you can use in multiplayer and generally get pretty good results. In the last race, Yogg Saran beat a Koenigsegg Yesko, a Bugatti Chiron, and a Koenigsegg Regera with this car. And in the current race, he is facing a Koenigsegg Yesko, an SSC2 Atara, a Bugatti Chiron, and two Rimac C2s. This is not a race that you would ever think a car like the Mazanti would be capable of performing extremely well in. But here Yogg Saran is, just barely behind this Chiron up here, and catching up a bit if I might say, and now comes the infamous part of this track. Lauren went a little bit too far to the left, left the track, and now Yogg Saran is in first place. I have done that way too many times in high-end S-Class cars. When you're coming out of the building there, you pretty much have to be lined up right right in the middle if you want to 360 because 360 there in fast cars is generally the fastest way to get through there but if you go too far to the left or to the right you get put out of the track and you get spawned pretty far back and obviously you lose a few seconds that way but Yogg Saran did it perfectly came in first place beating all of these really high-end s-class cars now we're moving on to a race on Nevada where we again I could just see out of the corner of my eye we have another yes go the other cars in this race there's not too much to talk about them like there's a 918 and a Huera, which this car should be quite a bit better than, but I'm interested to see how the Yesco versus the Mazanti race is on a track such as Nevada, which has some of the longer and straighter bits that the Yesco should certainly excel on, but it does have some of the tight twisty turns and stuff that the Mazanti's better nitro efficiency might help it a bit on. Currently, the Valkyrie special event is going on, which is a car that I would place a little bit below this one. It's not as fast, but it might be a little bit more agile but I think overall the Mazanti is a better car. All of these rankings will be on my best and worst cars in each class tier list video, which should be coming out somewhere between 7 and 10 days if I had to give a rough estimate. That is because the next update is likely to come out in around 10 days or a couple of days before the season ends. That's what's typically happened in the past. So far, we have finished the TLE or lap time specifically focused tier list, and next up we are going to be working on the multiplayer tier list, which we have decided to do because because in some classes, they are a bit different. On the bridge, the Esco was able to pass the Mazanti, but then the Mazanti passes the Esco at the last second, or maybe not. It was extremely close, and actually, the Yesco took the victory, but they were the same frame. So honestly, I would consider that pretty much a tie. This next race is on Thousand Minarets, and Yogg-Saron is facing a Shirin, a Yesco, as well as two tri Nemesises. Nemesis? I, I don't know how you should say that, but I guess I'll just say Nemesis because it sounds better. It's like analyses versus analysis is. Anyways, that does not really matter a whole lot. The car directly ahead right now is Stewie in his Bugatti Shirin. This Shirin definitely still seems to be one of the most popular cars 
cars in high-end S-Class racing, just because it came out a long time ago. It was probably one of the easiest really high-end S-Class cars to get. I spent about 12,000 tokens in its special event and got it to four stars. I have since five starred it and I'm halfway on my way to six starring it. And I still consider it to be one of the best overall cars in the game. Again, in this race, you see this kind of back and forth where the Mazzanti with its better nitro efficiency may get ahead in some sections, but then a faster car, or in this case, the Koenigsegg Yesco may catch up really fast in these straighter ones, but the problem is the Yesco doesn't have the greatest nitro efficiency. So it is not able to get up to a high top speed after its turn, and the Mazzanti pulls slightly further and further ahead throughout the end of the race, and Yogg-Saron takes the victory. One thing I like to do on my channel is bring note to some of these cars that may be kind of forgotten because they were either really hard to get, or people just don't have a high opinion of them in general, and really show you that yes, these cars can perform really well. I truly do believe that just about any car in this game can perform well if driven skillfully and if you get to right tracks too. Something I've thought about this Mazanti since I first saw it in this game was that it kind of reminds me of the Venser. You know, it's that look where the back is just kind of really flat, doesn't have a whole lot going on, and then the front is just kind of boring too. It's one of those cars that doesn't ascribe to the whole, we need to put lines everywhere and curves everywhere on cars to make them look good idea. This one is just like, no, we have flat places and a few curves and you get a car that way. Personally, I do prefer the sleeker designs, but this one isn't too bad at all. In this race are two Trianemeses as well as a Koenigsegg Regera, but surprisingly, none of those cars are the one directly behind. The car right behind Yogg-Saron right now is the Vanda. Now, the Vanda is one of those cars that was originally not particularly thought of super highly by a whole lot of people, but we have found since, after a lot more people have upgraded it and perhaps maxed it out in some cases, that it is an extremely good multiplayer car. Definitely S tier for A class multiplayer. That thing is a dream to drive. It's one of those cars that has the perfect nitro speed boost. Its acceleration is really great. So is its nitro efficiency and its handling. Everything about the car is just awesome. I do have a few videos about that on the channel too if you'd like to check it out. And now it's time for my general review about this car. Just thinking about this car from a pure stats and performance perspective, it's pretty mid tier S class toward the higher end. It's pretty pretty close to cars like the Devo and the TS1 and the Inferno and the Aspark and the Speedtail, you know, all those cars that are just kind of this mid S class tier that is not particularly awesome, but yet is way better than any A-class car and that you could definitely perform extremely well in multiplayer in. That being said, it is not an essential car in the slightest. If you have the Zenvo, you have a car that will perform very similarly to this one and is much easier to obtain through multiplayer right now. But if you did obtain this car, and especially if you're able to start up, I can highly recommend it for multiplayer. Give it a shot, especially if you haven't yet. Thank you all so much for watching and thank you to Yogg-Saron for these races. Please like the video if you have enjoyed, and consider subscribing for more Asphalt and other games content, and I will see you in my next video. Goodbye!